Make a Lady Noir Cosplay with me, part one. So here's what we're working with. The arms are really annoying because they don't really stretch all that well, but I guess we're just gonna have to deal with it. At least I can still do the Cat Noir baton pose. The suit smells really bad of fake leather, probably because it is fake leather, so I just took some baby wipes and wiped the whole thing down to get the stench out, and it really helped. I'm going to use frog tape to tape around the zipper and the collar. That way all my lines are smooth when I use the leather paint. I'm starting off with this primer, which is mostly acetone, so luckily I don't have nail polish on, and it basically takes off all of the factory finish. Now that it's primed, it's time to paint. And I've never used leather paint before, so let's pray that I don't screw this up. First coat's going on, and it's a lot thinner than I expected it to be. However, I am painting on black, so... Probably should have bought some white to prime with, but too late now. In the end, it took me around 10 coats, but here's it at 3. While I'm waiting for it to dry, I'm going to make her hairband. Which I bought these little beads and this green ribbon for. I cut 6 inches of the ribbon and pulled the beads through. I didn't know what to use for the hair tie because I don't have a giant black ball. So either I could use some of the beads to wrap around or just this leather cord. I thought the cord looked nicer so I cut 7 inches of it. And I sewed the ribbon on which was very hard because it's leather. Ultimately I needed some pliers for help. Then I just sewed it onto the wig. Now that the paint's all dry, I get to peel off the frog tape. Some of the edges were a little bit messy, so I went back in with the primer to clean it up. Now I'm gonna use some finisher just to make sure that the paint stays on there. And once that dries, I'm completely done with the top of the suit and the hair tie. See you in part two.